Hi guys, alright, YouTube fans coming up to 11,000 followers, so thank you for the uh, continued support. So, before I go on, if you want to join the group, uh, you can do so here. That's the PayPal sign me up, that's the upfront in crypto and ether. Um, so, uh, you just press the button and it'll give you whatever the rate is up until the end of the month. So, uh, today's now the 18th, so uh, I'll make a deal because I'm a nice guy today. If you sign up, I'll pop you onto the group until the end of September so um, that'll be six weeks for the price of four uh, so yeah if you if you want to pay in BTC or ETH and otherwise you can just sign up through PayPal so we cover everything from crypto to gold silver major forex pairs the bond market so pretty much covering everything really so August September October are the three most volatile months of the year so um, yeah, if you can't make money in these three months, then you can never make money in the market. And there's volatility, which creates opportunities for traders. So, um, one-off deal. If you sign up today in BTC or ETH over the weekend, so on the 18th or the 19th, I'll sign you up until the end of September. So, that'll be six weeks for the price of four. Um, and on the Shopify store, one-off discount code is 66. So 66, and that's 66% off everything. So COT report, Fibonacci time, all of the webinars that I've done, all the educational material that I've done in order to sort of give you guys some insight as to how to project these long-term targets, such as the ones on Fang and uh, Bitcoin, and how to trade on an intraday basis. So um, lots of interesting stuff. Um, and also with the group, we're going to be going through a live uh, Nasdaq trading tutorial tomorrow as well so if you guys want to join before then then you can jump onto that so um, being part of the group is really cool because we get to do a lot of back and forth feedback and um, can really make it as tailored as I can to you guys so um, yeah have a look so it's 66 for the discount code 66 percent off for the rest of uh, today and as I said if you pay in if you want to join the group and you want to pay in BTC or ETH, I'll sign you up until the end of September, so September the 30th. Okay, so Bitcoin, um, once again, it's bounced off 5,900, which we thought was going to be the case. Um, most people are waiting for a significant break of this level. Whether it will go straight to 4,200, we're not too sure. This line, this orange line, is coming right up from the Genesis, so... Uh, this will obviously play some sort of part. Um, trend lines usually always do. Doesn't mean it can't go lower than that. I, I, I am still projecting, you know, 3,000 or so. But you can one touch, two touch, three touch, four touch, five touch. So that hasn't really been tested during this bear market as of yet. So currently that's now running up at somewhere between, well, you know, 45, 46, 5,000 or so. So, um we're waiting for a decisive break of 59 before um, we can start jumping in and scooping up some of these altcoins. Um, I think there will be an, an altcoin rally of some extent uh, coming up pretty soon and it will be something like we got back in April. Um, Ether is really what you want to follow for that. Um, Ether against... Um, Sorry, not ET, not ETC. Ether, uh, Ether BTC is really what you want to follow for that. So hopefully we'll get some sort of bounce akin to this whether this is enough of a bounce to sustain itself i mean i'm not too sure so ether we'll just quickly cover this first um you know it's gone into my target fine but the, there are lower targets i think as a minimum e ether will end up at 165 um as a minimum now on the daily chart we know the aema can be used very well for trending purposes so it is trending above that so there's, there's no doubt um, it's looking bullish and I did say to the group that when it was down here we could easily see 360 355 which is the previous support level so um, it would make sense I believe um, where is it yeah here so the bounce off here was at 360 so if it does continue to go in the manner that it does really the big challenge for ETH will be 360 um, as I said it is starting to coil up now here the 4 is crossing the 50 uh, so the trend certainly very very short term appears to be up um, 
the issue is the risk with Bitcoin, really. That's that's just the real issue. I mean, if it was just Ether and USD, fine. We could probably comfortably buy a long position here. Um, but V bottoms never work. We know that. Um, that doesn't need to be gone into any more than it than I've just said. I mean, V bottoms never work. Shorts have been squeezed a little bit, but now they're slowly increasing. So, um, and you know, no one really believes um, that this is the low. So, you know, I mean, I know CNBC on uh, Twitter they've done a, quite a few polls, and it was eighty-five percent did not believe it was the the low. So, uh, obviously, the big boys are using those CNBC polls to try and gather sentiment and they're just going to try and squeeze people out of their position so um basically what i'm trying to say it's an unconvincing rally basically um and even though yeah fine the force crossing the 50 and all that um really it's a break of 59 that everyone's waiting for i can't see any new money jumping in to this market given that we're so close uh one touch you know, two touch, three, four, five, essentially anywhere between four to seven touches, depending on what level you want to use. So, um, you know, it's it's an unconvincing rally. I'm not I'm not too convinced by this. Um, I can't argue with the technicals though. It, it is regaining support. Um, what's the weekly looking like? Yeah, it's not a bad little doji candle. Um, you know, anything can happen on Bitcoin, especially over the weekend, because the liquidity is quite poor. So short term, it's anyone's guess. Um, but there's nothing to say it can't come back lower, even if we just take a basic fib retracement from the previous high to the previous low. Um, let's just say this is some sort of wave B or wave 4. The 38.2 is right here and the 50 is at 7.1. 71 so um, and really 68 is what we're all waiting for if it can break through 68 with a lot of volume fine then you might see 71 you might even see 74 but i think it's optimistic i think all of these altcoins were just very very oversold so they do some sort of bounce and for many they're probably using this bounce to get out of their position i, I refuse to believe ether won't go lower than it has done and if that's the little the s p 500 for the altcoins that's what we should really be looking at for an altcoin rally um so uh what i'm trying to say is basically it's an unconvincing rally i think 68 is going to be a major point i can't argue with the technicals yes the moving averages are crossing over any trend follower you know would say look trend is now up technically based on the moving averages but Obviously, you know, they can cross back and forth, back and forth a few times. So it could just hit 68 and just end up going back down towards this key level again. And it could break through that, retest and go back up and then come back down. I think projecting higher targets now, higher than here somewhere, that's now very, very optimistic. Um, I feel the next major test of 59 will be the big one. Um, I can't see this level holding again. It's just, it's just not going to happen. I, I think the next break will be the big one, and that's what everyone's waiting for, and that's certainly what I'm waiting for. Um, I'm not saying it's going to go straight to 42. As I've just said, this trend line will start playing a part. The negative 23.6 is here. The, the negative 3.82 is here. 5,000 is a good psychological level. So um, I'm not saying it will go straight to 42. It uh, doesn't have to do that. It might just settle around here. But either way, the major break of 59, and then a lot of people are going to be eyeing this up as some sort of uh, medium, well, short to medium term investment, get some sort of rally back up, and then it could probably make its way down. Um, I would be happiest, honestly, if it, and look at that, look at how the negative 618 is 42 as well. That's that's very, very interesting. Um, I would be happiest if it hits here, because then I could really justify converting fiat into BTC ready for some kind of sustained three wave correction up um, and then it will then make its three wave down towards 2496 so that's my uh, projection so even though I feel it may go lower any significant break of 59 is personally what I'm waiting for um, because that these altcoins can go much much lower so um, you know it's uh, it is what it is you know it's um, that's just 
that's just how it works. So there's not much else to be said on that. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm just waiting for a significant break, and wherever it settles, I will then look to convert fiat into BTC um, at that price. So because uh, this level can't hold anymore, it's it's already held five times, and the sixth or seventh time, usually these trend lines break. So. Um, and I think the next big test, if it starts coming back down with loads of sell volume, it's definitely going to break. And that's going to bring a lot of panic alongside it. Um, and you can take off another 40 billion off the market cap once that happens easily, if not more. Uh, well, maybe not more than maybe 25 billion off the total market cap and maybe 10, 15 off the uh, altcoin cap, excluding Bitcoin. Um, so look on the weekly chart. Um yeah, I mean, the 8 is crossing the 50 now on the weekly, so it is definitely trending down. Lower highs and lower lows and all that. Uh, pulling up some sort of doji attempt, but um, unless it can significantly break above 8444 and start to make higher highs and higher lows, it's not it's not going to go anywhere. So it's, it, it's only going to go sideways and down. And given we're so close to this level now, I still think it's a little bit too risky to be jumping in. Um just yet so they might have short squeezed everyone then they're going to long squeeze everyone then it's going to come back down again so looking on the rsi um yeah it's still hovering around you know 43 it's making a feline towards 30 though eventually so we are uh we are gonna get that for uh we are gonna get that oversold area in um in the uh in the rsi obv is just doing his thing. I think I think the OBV has got a lot lower to go. To be honest, this is a um, you know this is net sellers and net buyers. So there's there's obviously very good strong support at two one six eight nine oh nine. Um, and just looking at the basic fibs from top to bottom. Um, once again, get used to sticking fibs on everything. Okay, everything is Fibonacci related. Okay, not just on the markets but everywhere. So. Yeah, I mean it's just hovering here, so it's got at least got to come down to here, probably around the uh, 50. So eventually the OBV will be uh, getting to this sort of level, and I think that would that would make a lot of sense. Uh, to be honest, um, that corresponds with the previous high, the 50%. So that's that's pretty much what we're waiting for. So you know you can just set an alert on there if you like, set an alert here, here too. So you know that that's that's just the bear market. I mean, what else can you say? It's yeah, that's it. So um, expect the OBV to got a lot, a lot, lot lower. So how much lower do we have there in the OBV? I mean, how much percent is that from current prices? Another thirty-five percent, and that'll then bring everyone back in line again. Net sellers and net buyers, and then price will then uh, start to trend sideways and then go back up again. So OBV is very, very important. Uh, okay, so that's my take on Bitcoin. So uh, to summate, I believe. I mean, overall, the trend is down. Um, unless you've zoomed out on the yearly chart, the trend is definitely down. Weekly trend is down. Daily trend is down. Very, very short term, yes, the hourly trend or the four hourly trend might very well be up. Um, I think almost certainly it's going to hit 68 now. I think that can be tested and we could easily get a rejection. But honestly, the next time it hits 59, I don't, I just, I just refuse to believe there are new buyers here all the new buyers are waiting below sub 5.9 they can't hold this level anymore so i'm waiting for a significant break and then wherever we get that capitulation here 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 or here so something like this some sort of capitulation then that might be a good time to at least consider an investment ideally i'm waiting for here 42 that would that would make me most ecstatic and um, that would be a false break of this uh, trend line from the Genesis too. we get a bit of a lower wick That's where I'll really be waiting because then it's definitely worth a trade all the way back up to 59 because that's that's 30 percent And then we can get another three wave down. So Ideally, I would wait for 42, but I would be happy if it was I don't know 5k You know four and a half K maybe 5k ish. I would be happy if it just settles down here, but right now there's not enough 
there's there's not enough oomph in this there's not enough percentage gains to be had in this area given the risk to the downside the risk and reward makes no sense um this movement here was 80 percent this movement was 60 percent this was 40 percent this is now 20 percent we're really getting trapped between this line and this line so there's not enough there for an investor or one of the big institutions to think right this is worth trading so really you know you what you you want to try and track what the big boys are doing those are the guys who move the markets guys on bitmex trading five ten pound a day they don't move the markets they're they're just small speculators having a bit of a punt but um really sensible intelligent money is is, is waiting in fiat below 5.9 so um i'm very interested to see how this market settles out between now and the end of the year i i am genuinely fascinated to see how low bitcoin can actually go before december 31st um so yeah a lot of fascinating times to come uh so yeah that's it i'll uh, i'll wrap it up there so good luck follow me on twitter have a look at my shopify store six six it's just two sixes that will be the um discount code if you guys are interested and yes if you want to join the group if you want to pay up front in bitcoin i'll add you on until the end of september so a lot of interesting times a lot of interesting market movements i think in emerging markets in um the us dollar as well all of which i said were going to happen way back in january so um you know charts are there charts are there to really predict things uh well before they happen so by the time it hits the news you're already looking to fade uh, the new so the move is the whole point of doing this is to predict things three to six months ahead of time um, there's no point everyone longing the dollar right now is there so the the moves already done um, and if anything dollars actually do a bit of a pullback I think for the next couple of weeks if not a couple of months so um, that trade is getting a little bit too crowded for my liking so be careful if you if you're long US dollar um, anyway so everything's playing out this uh, final stock market move down sideways and then back up again everything's playing out so that so the next two years are going to be very very interesting a lot of volatility and i think um there'll be uh, some big moves in cryptocurrency too because money has to go somewhere so anyway i'll wrap you up there so uh good luck to whatever you're doing and i'll catch you guys soon